your relationship with the narcissist is very transactional because the narcissist see you as a tool to get what they need. The narcissist does not have deep, meaningful relationships with anybody. This includes their family, their mother, their father, their own children, and especially you. The reason the narcissist came to you was because you had something to offer that they needed. Again, you can be the most beautiful woman or an average looking woman. Something you don't see about yourself is what the narcissist see. And they like that. So they come to you for that. The narcissist is all about transaction. All of their relationships are transactional. And if you really study the narcissist, you'll see that they don't really have true meaningful friendship with good meaningful respectable people the friendships they have are very sketchy and a lot of them have i always say that a lot of the narcissists are down low so if you see them have a really really close relationship with a um the opposite sex there is a good chance that that person is their partner or the person is in on it you see what I mean? So their relationships, other than that, they don't really have deep, meaningful relationships with anybody. And that is why their relationships with you is not deep and meaningful either. It's all about what they can get from you. So the supply that they can get from you, that supply could be your social status. It could just be how beautiful of a woman you are or a man. It could be how you look. Maybe you take really good care of yourself. You work out and you have this beautiful stature and they feel like they look nice next to you it could be the fact that you have money you work really hard you could be a nurse especially us nurses out here we are a target for these narcissists because they have this mentality that nurses make a lot of money and nurses are also very much respected and so they want to attach to that so a lot of nurses Female nurses are targets for narcissists. A lot of female business women are targets for narcissists. And again, they don't come to you because they see this meaningful, beautiful, uh, 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 just powerful woman. They see you as a tool that they can use to live a better lifestyle, to live a comfortable lifestyle, to show off to their friends, to, um, you know, get a step up in society because coming to you doesn't mean that okay yes i'm using her for her beauty or i'm using her for her money um but i'm gonna use her but i'm also going to be there and respect her and just you know get what i can get no it's literally to use you as a stepping stool to get to the next bigger and better thing because what you do as the supply as that good really really great a supply is you enhance their resume you enhance the narcissist's resume. You make them look good. So if you're this beautiful woman that got with this narcissist, you make them look good and it makes other women w want to date them. It makes the other women say, wow, what is it about him that such a beautiful woman is dating him? So you just made him attractive to a whole bunch of other women who would have never looked his way. But the fact that you're such a beautiful girl or woman, you take care of yourself, you dress well, you carry yourself in such a beautiful feminine manner, it makes them feel, I mean, I'm sorry, it makes them look good. And it makes other women want to be with them. So that's how you see women sliding into their DMs, women trying to make them, you know, women trying to see what it do, all of those things. If you are a rich girl, you are a rich woman, again, you just enhance that narcissist's resume. You made them look good because when you dress well, they dress well. You live in a nice house, they live in that same nice house. They drive nice cars because you have money. But guess what? The women on the outside think that it's coming from him because society, societal, society thinks that automatically the man is the one making it happen. When you are the one working your butt off, you're the smart one, you're the business-minded one, you are the rich one, you are the successful one, and people don't usually see that. They automatically think that the guy is the one who's making it happen, so it makes them look even more attractive to other women, and it gives them respect from other men. So the narcissist does not have a deep connection with anybody. Everybody is a transaction to them. They will use you for what you have to get 
and that's the sick part some people are let's say you have your gold dig digging women right some gold some women they just want to go dig they just want a rich man that's going to take care of them and they're happy with that they'll stay with the man and go dig as much as they can as long as they can get their bag their hair their makeup and things like that it's a different thing when different thing when you're dealing with a narcissist i'm sorry y'all i don't edit my videos because all of this stuff comes from experience so i know what i'm talking about so i don't edit my videos so sometimes i lose my train of thought i stutter i do all the things but it just comes from, from a natural place because i'm literally putting the camera on and just going so please forgive me if i'm like stuttering in some of my videos <laughs> I don't even stutter, but it happens, okay? But anyway, so a regular human who's, let's say, a gold digger or a guy who likes women with money, they're going to come, they're going to get the money, they're going to enjoy the lifestyle, and but they're going to be in it with you. Where the line is really thin is when you're dealing with a narcissist. That narcissist comes for, this, for, for the same reason, right? They come for your money, they come for your looks, they come for your status, they come for all of these things. But not only are they going to come for that, they're going to try to break you down to get all of that, drain it out of you, and then move on. Use you as the stepping stool to move on higher up the ladder. That's how evil these people are. That is why you go into the relationship looking one way and come out looking another way, the worst way. You come into the relationship with money, good credit, uh, a nice little savings or maybe even if you don't have a savings you're not in debt but you leave that relationship in debt you leave looking ugly you leave with a bad credit you leave worse than you were and that's not how relationships are supposed to be you're supposed to leave a relationship better than you came in because you pour into the person and the person poured into you but a relationship with a narcissist is not like that a relationship with a narcissist is to use you for what you have. Not only that, also use what you have to make them look good to other people so they can attract their next person and they're going to deplete you. Use your resources and then go to that next person. But spoiler alert, they're going to do the same thing to the next person. If that gives you any reassurance, if that gives you any uh, power then so be it. But just know the same thing they're doing to you, they're going to do it to the next person. And as I said, it's only a matter of time. So some people want karma right away when the narcissist has used, abused, and discarded them and moved on to the next supply. They want karma to happen right away. That's not how it happens. The time frame is different for everybody. Your relationship may have crumbled within a month or in two years. The new relationship with the new supply could crumble within two months or five years, but it's going to crumble. If we're dealing with a real narcissist, it's going to crumble. That's just how they work. That's their nature. Okay? So don't ever think that the narcissist is coming to you because of who you are. And that's why it's so funny with the new supply. I was a new supply. You were a new supply. We all were new supplies. The new supply things that they have won. But actually, the minute they met that narcissist, they lost. And they will slowly lose until they get to the point where they've lost everything. So when the new supply starts to show off and act like they want a prize and they're doing this and that, don't worry about it. Just give it time. And I, I don't wish the narcissist on my worst enemy. But I just say this to give you some kind of comfort, especially if that narcissist discarded you and moved on to that next person and you're feeling like complete-ish right now and you don't know what to do. It's just a matter of time. And I feel sorry for the new supply. I was a new supply too. And I'm pretty sure the people who have dealt with him looked at me and felt sorry for me. Or saw me as the dumbest person ever and saw and said, how come she doesn't see this? So we were all there. So that narcissist, they're not coming to you for meaningful uh, relationships. They're not. They're just coming to use you. So that's why I say the minute you find out you're dealing with the narcissist, plan your escape and leave. 
That's the best way to deal with this. Plan your escape and leave. They will never change. They will never become better. And they will never do good by you. 